Well, Zanin. Whoever you serve, whatever powers you once had, are mine. <laughs> hey, Hill. Hill here. Game. I'm still here. Oh, sorry. I'm just trying to loot the corpse. All right, we're close to the next destination. But we Let's should go. find the page of the book that we're seeking. All right, Zelzaz. Good of you to join us, you know. I think I want to have someone help us too. Such a beautiful day. Let's go. The more the merrier. Someone standing right here. Get him! Not a victory for House Telvan. You think this place is abandoned? No, I don't. I can hear people fighting up ahead. What was that? Oh, you heard we something, all right. Name. Get them! the rest of my crew. Are you all up here fighting someone? Come on. We 
never time for these delays. the way you were looking at me. Finish this. No, it's just wolves. I was expecting an adversary. Who's opening these gates? vision for me. Ah, oh, there. All right. All right. Let's Please see what, yes? what this page will do for you. I ate something that my belly won't agree with, so I may suddenly excuse myself. Wait a minute. Let's go already. Oh, I, I didn't pick up the page. You took me to some really strange places. Now, let's try this again. What is it? Here, the fourth page. Let me see it. Might want to stand back. All right. Are you all right? I didn't see a change. Yeah, I mean, I feel fine, just different. It's hard to explain what this feels like. I just feel full, I don't know. Well, just one more to go. Let's hope it's not some elaborate cookbook or something. Was that seriously it? All right then. Zelzaz, I can feel her power growing. Why do bandits pick the stupidest of places Soon, to hide out? It will be ripe for the picking. <laughs> All right then, young lady, let's go. I'm wondering, I think it's I should. It's so dark in here. I should eat these bandits.
Excellent. Strengthen the Enter Beast for my next uh, encounter. All right, one last page. Let's see where it is. Really? Swindler's Den? All right, let's go. Is someone there? This is a These mercenaries or whoever they think they this are. This place looks sketchy. Should we really be here? So we meet again. All right, apparently the page is inside. Let's go. with us. Wasn't that man wearing a robe? You took it. And what are you doing over his corpse? Alright, it looks like the page is below. If you find that you have a hard time carrying everything, try combining. Still nothing, Some giants but a headache and blurred vision. All right, here you are. Need something? Here's the last page. I guess this is it, huh? Yes, it is. Well, I can't wait. We've come this far. What? What? 
What? Is that it? <laughs> A bit anticlimactic, don't you think? What? Oh, she's got quite the power. All right, let's see if we can find her. I'm wondering how many corpses. Is this enough to, to warrant a feeding? I sort of think so. Unlock the howl of terror. Hmm, there seems to be two parts to it. That's interesting. Drink something that is actively painful, and then not remember a thing the next day. All right, I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away. We need to find that girl. Hmm, I probably should have come out and eaten him, too. far away. Alright, at least we've been in this area. Let's go. Alright, the, they're cleared out. I'm wondering, do we need to enter? this structure here to find her. So, all right, let's see what's inside. Oh, 
on your guard. Get him! The roots. We have something. Now that's all. Oh look, it's Junin. Still, not nearly enough. And here's Junin. Here's the key. To Mirai's father's room. Let's see here. Just how powerful is this Junin? You might need his help. Of course. Who else here looks powerful? Don't tell me they all are. How about this He's mercenary? I don't like the look of this. There we are. Watch out for the traps. Members of House Tarbani can be quite competitive. Uh, Recall two young Dunmer fighting on position as mouth. They will try every dirt. Reckon the book to read the other. Eventually, they both ended up dead, and the master had to choose someone else. It looks like it's this way then. Uh. Oh no, look at this. Is that the girl? Strung up? And here, the man that would be a vampire. What have you done? Why do you persist so, Dragonborn? Do you have any idea what you're interfering with? What am I interfering with? With something much greater than you, her, or even me. Maybe explaining my purpose will sway your persistence. This may come as a surprise to you, but I am not her real father. No, that's not a surprise. No, her real father was killed soon after she was born. Mariah and her family have always been a target for assassins. That's why I was hired to protect them. Mariah is a special, special girl, Dragonborn. The last of her bloodline. Her family descended from a great man. I was one of her grandfather's closest guards back then. It was my job and life to protect him and his family, but I could not protect them from themselves. 
A few days before Mirai was born, her grandfather had become more and more weak-minded. Whether it was from the stress of having to live a life in secrecy, or maybe even a poison from his enemies, I don't know. The ailing old man eventually went completely mad and attacked Mirai's parents. That's when I came to a crossroads. Do I strike him down to preserve Mirai and her family? I found myself unable to act when he murdered her mother, his daughter-in-law, and then finally his son, Mirai's father. When he turned his attention to the day's old Mirai, I had to step in and do what any other man would do despite his duties. There was blood everywhere and echoes of a crying girl. I adopted Mirai that day and raised her as one of my own, vowing to continue my work through her. It was only a couple of years ago I was made aware of another relative of hers, an imprisoned one. He has reached out to me and asked me to return Mirai, and I am simply trying to return her to him. That is all. <laughs> And what was he in prison for? All he is guilty of is ambition. Ambition, really? There were those who feared his power and locked him away. It sounds like someone I need to meet. So why not just tell her that? Because her mother has undoubtedly poisoned her mind with ill-conceived notions of my intentions. Neither of them will listen to reason. Do you understand now, Dragonborn? All your efforts are to keep Mariah away from her true family. No one will miss her here. No one will know she's gone. She belongs with her family. There is no shame if you simply turn around and walk away. Hmm. What did you need me for? You. You have a similar heart. Unique blood like her. Your blood could open his prison and allow him to return to Tamriel. But I have found your cooperation to be too much trouble. This is the only other way. Even if it's against her will? Whether she wants to or not is none of my concern. I have no say in the matter. It is simply my duty. She must be returned. And who is the relative of hers? I thought you'd never ask. Perhaps if I tell you his name, you will understand. He is a very powerful man, more powerful than even you, Dragonborn. He is someone I cannot defy, someone you may be familiar with. The Devourer of Dragons, the first Dragonborn, Mirak. What? Another dragonborn. I see. I want to speak to her. That will be necessary. She is currently indisposed. I assure you she will be taken care of. Just leave her to me. I don't care who she is. I will not turn my back on her. Especially if she possesses so much power. You insignificant maggot! How dare you! will you? not have her! She will bring only pain to you and those around her! If you care for her so much, then trade your life for hers! Your soul would work just as well! Uh-oh. Got him! Taken whatever powers he has. What? I thought we were finished with these enemies. Destroy it.
Are you two all right? Well, Zanin. Whoever you serve, whatever powers you once had, are mine. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. You're free. All right. Take some time to gather yourself. So, is this true that you're the... Is it the daughter of Murak, the first dragon lord? Well, here he is. Why are you doing this, Dad? What is so important that you've forsaken your family? Uh, family? You mean my ungrateful stepdaughter and that meddlesome witch of a wife? You both had the chance to be a part of something Tamriel will never see again. But you insist on rejecting it. Tell me, why should I put you two before anything? This is how you really think, isn't it? Nearly 18 years of my life, and I've never been anything more than disposable to you. Because that's all you are. Merely a vessel. A shell for that wretched heart of yours. Are these snowberries? My Is my blood resist really worth more to you than my life? Not just your blood, but your soul too. Your very <clears throat> existence is extraordinary, and those assets mustn't be squandered. Mirak must return. Your life is insignificant compared to his. As his servant, I must return you to him. All this time, that's all I've ever been to you. You can't be saved. All that matters to you is that stupid job. And for what? What do you get out of it? Why is it worth my life? I don't care who I am or what you want. I'm not going to let you trade my life for his. Why must you be so selfish? Why do you have to hurt us like this? Why do you? Oh! Well... Impressive, girl. But I'm sorry. You have something that I need. <laughs> and that's your power. Added to my own. I'll deal with Mirak. All in good time. Are you crying because I stole your power? just started beating so fast, and all the heat that's been building up inside of me. I just couldn't take it. Is this it? Is this all you wanted from me? This is worth no one's life. He still has my mom. He loaded her onto the boat already. You have to get her before they sail off. Who knows what those beasts are going to do to her? All right then, I suppose we could try to save her. Let's look on the map and see where she is. Hmm. Somewhere in the area. So, I'm wondering, there was a, a door. Here, yes. We need to go this way. Alright, everyone. Come on. I've gotten what I've wanted. <laughs> oh, 
On your job. Yes, ice wraiths. Um, anyone care to join in? Thank you. Oh. Sorry, Atar. I think I stole part of your essence. You'll be all right, though, since you're not imbued with supernatural power. ship. Ah, you two are cold. It's amazing. I no longer suffer from cold, as the power within me grows and it keeps me warm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let's go. It's in here. All right, it's not that cold. It's time for a bit of stealth. Starting to feel like my my old self. The exhilaration of power. Oh, here she is. I'm not gaining any more lockpicking experience. I wonder, what are the rules for this in this world? Everything seems to be so controlled here, and it doesn't even make sense. You there. Yes. 
Are you hurt? No, no, I'm fine. You have to go after Mariah. Zenon has her. Mariah is safe, and Zenon is dead. <laughs> Yes. Oh. I, he wouldn't quit until the very end, huh? Is this agenda of yours really worth your life, Zenon? I just wanted him to come back home with Marai and, and me and forget this ever happened. Well, I guess that was a bit naive, wasn't it? It was. He went to such great lengths. But I have no idea why. Well, I do. I might as well tell you the truth. Marai is the descendant of the first dragonborn. The first? What? Then... Zenon was right. She is special. Maybe I was quick to think the worst. But that still doesn't excuse what he did. If that's the case, Mirai should be protected, not exploited. Uh, what happened to the man I knew? How did you meet Zanin? Zanin and I met when we were very young. I was about Mirai's age. We fell in love instantly. He was much different then. We were really happy once. A couple of years after we met, I realized I couldn't have children of my own. Zanen was devastated more so than even me. I think that was the point he really started to change. He became so religious then. It was then when he joined some religious group. It turned him into the man you saw today. Mirai entered our lives shortly after. I realize now that the cult probably murdered Mirai's birth parents. I don't know how I could have been so blind all this time. And what will you do now? Mirai will still need protection. There are a lot more like Xanon, and once they find out he's dead, they will send someone else. It's not safe in High Rock for Mirai and me. If Mirai lets me, I think I'll live with her. That way I can help her and you as well if you need it. Oh, really? You should go speak with Mirai. Shame. She must be feeling very confused pups. right now. Though they might not fit your palette. All right. An ally. I like that. Where is Mirai? Did she even come here? <laughs> I suppose she's outdoors somewhere. she is, and I sense an enemy. Now we'll worry about that later. Mirai? I found your mother, and she's unharmed. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. My dad, he's really dead. Isn't well, he? you killed him. He is. I <laughs> still hear Mirai. I know how hard this must be for you. He was also my husband. We've both lost a lot. I know, Mom. I'm sorry. I... Can we just go home now? Mariah, it's not safe. It's still not over. Your father, Zenen, he's not the only one they will hurt. They won't give up on the descendant of the first dragonborn so easily. We can't go back home. You told her? Why would he want to keep it a secret from me in the first Yes, person? why? It's better this way. I can look after you easier. You've already done so much for me. I don't want to worry you anymore. I know a lot of things have changed. But I'm still your mother. And all you have left, it, it's pretty much my job to worry. So, where do we go now? Let's just stay in your home in Markov for now. I don't think many people aside from your father knew about it. It should be safe. If we need to, I have a couple of friends here in Skyrim that 
could help us. Okay. Besides, we might be safer knowing the Dragonborn is looking up for us. <laughs> I know she was probably a pain in the butt at times, but thank you so much for saving my daughter and for guiding her through all of this. It's not much, but if we can help you in any way, don't hesitate to let us know. We'll be in Mirai's home in Marco if you ever need us. Well, Mirai, we should get going. Just give me a minute. I need to say a few things. Okay. So, not much to say that my mom already hasn't, but I just wanted to say it again. Thank you. I'm not sure you should be thanking me. You are no longer as special as you thought you once were. The powers of the Dragonborn are now mine. So what will you do now? Hide, I guess. I know I haven't heard the end of it. As long as the cult stands, they won't stop sending more people after me. Maybe someday down the line, I'll find a way to put a stop to them. But until then, at least I can always count on your help, right? It's not like you got anything better to do. And in return, if you ever need help with anything, I can come along. I might as well put these new powers to use, right? <laughs> I may not have as many powers as you, oh, no, but I'm you sure don't. we'll grow stronger the more time we spend together. Uh. We can be shop buddies. What do you say? I'll think about it. Well, all right. It's going to be so boring cooped up in the house all day, so I hope you change your mind. Anyways, I should head home for now. If you need anything, you know where to find me. <laughs> oh, this was an interesting adventure. Well, gentlemen, I thank you both. I've been able to amass more power than I was expecting. But now it's time to look for more. <laughs>